What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make money in Season Discovery, because everything is extremely expensive. Getting raid consumes is about 50 to 100 gold per uh, Sunken Temple run. So, well, that's not really viable unless you are able to grind out just a little bit. And uh, you're still gonna need a bunch of crafted gear in part four that's coming out in, well, I'm assuming about a month. It hasn't been announced yet, but without further ado, let's just get into it here. So now, before we actually start talking about the different farms that I found and the most efficient routes to make money, we're just gonna go over very briefly how like the WoW economy works. So the actual money that floats around that you see in the auction house and whatnot, is actually all grinded up from uh, quests, so that's incursions, that is just regular quest bonuses, that's vendoring uh, useless quest item pieces, that is raid drops that you just vendor, that is random claws and this and that and whatnot, as well as just raw gold that is dropped from mobs. And now these are supposed to be slightly more than the gold sinks that they have in place. So technically you could be able to play the game fully by yourself. You could essentially do a, a solo cell found without having to ever touch the auction house ever. Now the auction house comes into play when you are trying to sell something of extreme value or something that somebody else needs for something such as leather, cloth, herbalism, uh, that kind of stuff. So what you actually want to be doing is finding the best ways to maximize your time profit. Without further ado on that, let's get straight into the best ways to make money by spending the least amount of time getting it. Now we're going to be talking about three ways to make a lot of money with different time investments needed and different knowledge needed. So the first one that we're gonna go over here is gonna be incursions. Now, if you're Alliance, you want to have your hinterlands incursions, you're gonna join a train and you're gonna be making about 25 gold every 15 minutes, which is every turn in. You're gonna be essentially following another like eight groups of players who are just running the circuit and just going over and over and over at it. And you kill bosses, you do the escorts, all that kind of stuff. And with a massive, essentially a raid group going on, you get your tags in and whatnot, and you are able to make that kind of money. Now it is much slower if you only have like five, 10 people uh, that are running it. So try to be on key and peak times to get the maximum benefit out of that. And it requires almost no attention and it requires no knowledge. You essentially just follow the pack. However, it is dependent on having a lot of other people doing it. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about here is gonna be the auction house. And we're gonna split up the auction house in two sections. The first section is just gonna be flipping things for profit because you know the price of things, you know the demand of things. And this is a little bit risky because it's always gonna be slightly risky that you don't lose money in it. And the second thing is gonna be buying things from the auction house to craft things to then make more money. If I look here at Soul Dust, it was selling for 640 uh, for a long time. Now it's selling for a bit less. Now I could technically buy everything out here and then relist it for like 17 silver a pop or something like that, except it wouldn't give me that much profit and it wouldn't really increase my margin very much. Like I'd be getting maybe one silver, like 50 copper for each transaction. So it's probably not super worth it to do at this point in time. Now, this is a video from the next day. As you can see, prices are quite different here. Soul Dust has gone up to 80 silver a pop, which is kind of unusual to be honest with you. So I could make some money if I had some stocked up, which I did on my uh, on my Druid. I had like uh, two, three stacks of Soul Dust there that I got for, you know, 16 silver. I resold that at 50 silver and it instantly sold. Uh, Vision Dust is also up. Dream Dust is slightly up, but not super high right now. And everything else I don't really care about too much, just because the dusts are what the enchanters use for a lot of their crafts. Now, another tool that I use here just to check out prices is uh, JP Worgen. I actually go through prices here. It helps me look at things in a better light and in a better way. So I can see kind of all of the prices of how things have been 
and R and whatnot. So I can see here that uh, yesterday around uh, 6 p.m. they went up to around a gold. And even when they were up around a gold, they were still selling. Now, it didn't sell super high at one gold, but when it started coming down a bit, it did start selling again. So I know that there's always going to be some motion here of things. Now, it's not fully accurate. It's not always updated all the time. However, it looks like the price is kind of just staying around this level here. There's uh, quite a bit of quantity at around, you know, 80 silver. So I could actually make some money right now disenchanting things and buying them off the auction house, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my enchanter to start this out with here. And I can see that green silk armor is probably my best bet in regards to getting the most amount of soul dust here for my buck if you reopen it here with auctionator it actually gives you a little search here so every bolt of silk cloth is about you know, 1374 which is a little bit expensive so i'm going to look at actual silk cloth okay so silk cloth is selling uh not too bad not too bad at all it was a bit cheaper yesterday it was about like 2.3 yesterday so i could actually buy out everything up to three silver here now i actually have a little crafting sheet which I like to just keep so obviously I was making some of this before so green silk armor is about 60 silver to craft this is the actual price from the vendors on the silk and thread and the green dye I actually have a, a whole tab here of vendor mats and what they cost there the soul dust drops are going to be about two to five it says here so if I sell them let's say I sold them at 50 silver which I did so I need to think with 40 silver per soul dust so even at the lowest end here I'm going to be making, you know, 20 silver per. And on the lesser mystic essence, I think I'll lose a little bit of money, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, so that's 49 silver per. So I'll lose a little bit of money if I only get one mystic essence. However, from the past, I actually got a 60% drop chance of 3 out of 5, which makes sense. So I'll be getting about 1 gold and 20 silver per craft, whereas it costs... 60 silver to craft so i'll be making 60 silver every craft here so now i'm gonna craft this real fast all right now that it's all made let's go ahead and disenchant So that is 15 soul dust for four units here. We do just some quick math. So that is 15 times, let's say 40. That's six gold. We spent 60 silver times four. We spent two gold and 40 silver to make this. And we're going to be getting about six gold out of it. Now, obviously I do this in big, big swaths. I normally will buy out like 600 silk cloth if that's the right price and i'll just do that now let's just go ahead and list that 450 that's a solid little uh, profit right there now this doesn't only work with tailoring however it could also work with leather working right now the prices on everything is a little bit too high so we won't really be making any money off of it but just to give you an example here so the hillman's gloves require 14 medium leather and four fine threads and if we reopen it right here you're gonna see that it's about 93 to craft which is quite a bit uh, now we could still make some money on it but there's a much higher chance that we don't so we're just gonna go ahead and skip that out we could just double check some other things here but you see here this is heavy leather it's even more expensive and it requires cloth this is cured heavy hides are going for quite a bit now i don't know why but they're pretty expensive on the uh, auction house always so we are just gonna go ahead and skip on this right now now. However, I hope that gave you an insight on uh, how to work the auction house. All right, so now we're going to move on to the farming portion. So as we know, the best class by far to farm with is going to be a hunter. Now, some of the most successful farms that I have had in place, they're all going to give around 150 to 200 gold every hour, especially if you're executing it. Now, you do need to have a bit of attention and you do need to actually be playing the game instead of like spacing out, but they are pretty lucrative. Now, the first one here is going to be doing older man runs. Now, the reason I want to run an older man is because you're not going to hit any lockouts because the way that I do it, it's about 12 minutes long. And I only do the animal trash packs that you can actually skin. Now, you're just going to go ahead and do the AoE farm. And then when you finish, you can just pick up all the greens, throw away all the stuff that you don't want. 
and you can just skin everything as well as when you finish doing the actual farm itself you can go and you can clean up like three four nodes so you can actually farm those as well and this gives you about a hundred medium leather every hour i would say 200 heavy leather and about a hundred thick leather as well as a few hides here and there it also gives you greens and it gives you some mithril and iron ore on top of that it gives you about like two to three gold from just raw mobs every run and you can also sell old demand runs at the same time to people they're selling for about 10 gold a run on my server and you could probably sell them for five or six if you want because you're not running the entire thing but it's really worth it now the next one that you can do here is you can actually run with a druid and do maradon spams you can at least do five of them you're going to be locked out afterwards because you're going to be doing about six to seven minute runs however they are really worth it as well you make sure that you have a disenchanter for sure and uh, somebody that you trust so you can actually disenchant them because if you look right here you can actually get large brilliant charge which are selling for about 44 to 50 gold per one on my server right now now unfortunately only the charstone dirk will drop it however it does have a pretty good drop chance i think it's at like 25 or 30 percent and also you're going to be getting wild offerings because you're going to be killing the uh, big dinosaur at the end and the reason that you're going to be doing that is because you're going to go back to the wild offerings vendor uh, whenever you're ready and you're gonna trade in 10 wild offerings for a random dark moon fair card and those could go for 500 gold depending on which one that you have they're going between 500 to 700 the more expensive ones that kind of just makes it all worth it especially because doing five runs only takes you about 30 minutes the way that i do it and i'm gonna go ahead and link it right here as well in the top right corner or left corner whichever one it is so you can see how to do that as well now another farm that you can do is you can actually farm devil sores down here in Umgoro Crater. Those aren't really heavily camped. I've done about, I don't know, 100 or 200 Devil Sores at this point, and I've just been duoing it with a friend just to make it faster and also, you know, just a little bit easier and kind of break up the monotony. We split it 50-50. It sells for 20 gold a pop. You can kill about 20 to 30 Devil Sores in probably about two hours. Let's say that's 15 leather in two hours. You sell that for uh, 20 gold a pop that's about 300 gold right there and that's pretty much all i got for you guys today thanks so much for tuning in hope you learned something and uh, go out there and make some money peace